hello friends welcome back to my channel hope you all are doing good and staying safe today in this video i will be sharing breakfast party menu which i had for my friends last week few recipes which are new i will be sharing detailed recipe in this video and few which are already there on my channel i will be leaving the link in the description box this breakfast party i had in my house that day it was heavy snowing early morning itself snow started by 7 o'clock i'm sure you will all love the recipes i'm sharing if you like this video do sure like share and subscribe to my channel live tasty be happy now let's get started first i will be sharing the recipe for pineapple kesari or pineapple halwa for that we need pineapple essence yellow color semolina or the suji and this is canned pineapple i am using crushed one there are uh, three different types you will get crushed one either sliced or diced go for crushed one i have taken one full cup of ghee first i am just frying some nuts that is cashews and raisins only you can take almonds also closely watch the measurement for each and every ingredient one cup of ghee in that i have taken whole spices that is cardamom cinnamon and clove to that i have added two cups of semolina or rava or soji anything you call it nicely roast it until aromatic for two cups suji we need six cup water i have already kept it for boiling in that i have added yellow food color now when it is roasted nicely i am adding pineapple flavor essence and followed by i am adding the crushed canned pineapple nicely give it a good mix at this point no lumps will be forming because the wetness in the pineapple um, crushed pineapple itself will uh, nicely get mixed with the suji now slowly add little by little the water we have heated it up this way you can make the halwa very quickly and easily nicely give it a good mix so that there should not be any lumps and i have added the remaining water and give it a nice good mix once you are adding liquid into the semolina or the suji put the flames on low flames and then now i am adding sugar for 2 cups suji i have added 3 cups of sugar first i added 2 cups i will be adding one more cup and half of the nuts i will be mixing it here right away usually if you are a sweet lover and like extra sweet you will take 4 cups for 2 cup of suji but i have reduced 1 cup because that sweetness itself is more than enough for our house this sweet will give extremely different flavor than that of normal kesari or suji ka halwa pineapple flavor will be very prominent only when you add pineapple essence so definitely add pineapple essence in this nicely give it a good mix when it starts to bubble just that's it it will be very much ready instantly you can cover it and leave for just 5 minutes for it to completely get cooked Now when it is hot itself I will be transferring it into the serving bowl I prepared this sweet 2 days before itself like this these kinds of sweets and all easily you can prepare it and keep ahead of time in fridge and you can put it in the oven just before serving you can see the pot how nice clean and clear it has come out that is because you have eat used enough ghee in it Now you can see along with cashews and raisins I have also taken pista that will give nice different color with yellow color kesli nice green color pista is a good combination otherwise if you don't have also no worries this way I will be preparing and I will wrap it with cling foil on top and then I will cover it and keep it in the fridge Now we'll move to the next recipe that is chicken pasta I'm going to prepare for that I'm going to prepare nice malai chicken in this I have taken 1 and 1/2 kg of chicken small pieces if you say it is for pasta itself they will cut and give like this to that I have added salt ginger garlic paste chili flakes pepper powder 
nice heavy whipping cream and yogurt yogurt should be nice and thick little bit of lemon juice nice to give it a good mix and you can marinate it ahead of time and keep it in fridge otherwise instantly if you are doing at least marinate for half an hour one thing i forgot to add in this is a yeah, little bit of oil also i will be adding because i am going to air fry it that makes my job really very very easy this i did previous day itself i made it and kept it in the fridge so that it will be easy for me to do instantly next day all the preparations i did for two days party was on wednesday early morning but i did my preparation few on monday and few on tuesday full day these three color peppers also i have just cut them into cubes this is also for white pasta only alfredo pasta just i added salt pepper and little bit of oil this also i will be air frying it This also previous day night itself I prepared and kept it in the fridge. All the marinations I have kept it ready. Next day morning, just get started. Morning first thing I prepared was pasta. Boil the pasta. Don't overcook it. To that I am also adding corn. Nicely add the salt. and cook until it is done this pasta and all can be served either cold pasta that is chill or you can reheat it early in the morning in the oven so i am preparing it in previous day itself now i have taken ingredients for tomato bell pepper chutney that is for idli and dosa i have taken enough oil in that urad dal chana dal mustard seeds curry leaf and followed by garlic cloves that is handful and i have chopped onions roughly chopped onions just fry until translucent to that i have also added salt little bit of chili flakes nicely give it a good mix do not add too much of chana dal or urad dal the taste won't be nice very little only you should add now you can see i have added bell pepper tomatoes and uh, little bit of tamarind small it is a small ball uh, like i have taken tamarind now nicely cook it upside down and i will be adding grated coconut it is directly from the freezer i have just left it on top it will melt once when it is completely done i have added one handful of roasted chana dal and handful of coriander nicely give it a good mix let it cool completely and you can keep it in the fridge Now chicken is gone inside the air fryer. I am going to do it in bake mode. I have taken nice big log of butter and oil together. In that I added little bit of uh, garlic, not little bit enough garlic, milk, have uh, cream cheese, heavy whipping cream, a uh, little bit of maida or all purpose flour, pepper and mixed herb that is italian seasoning and two handful of blend of mozzarella and cheddar this is the basic ingredients for making white sauce or you can call it as alfredo sauce i have added salt and little bit of chicken cube flavor also i gave in this very nice sauce this is just in 5 minutes that sauce will be ready you can see in air fryer when chicken is almost getting ready i also added the peppers in them which we already seasoned and kept now see the pasta is already layered in the serving dish along with that i have added this chicken and peppers also nicely give it upside down twist and turns and over this i will be pouring the white sauce nice thick white sauce it should not be keep it little bit runny because as it is getting cool down that sauce will become more thick that's all our alfredo white pasta is very much ready i will let it cool completely and keep it in the fridge ready so most of the work i have finished previous day itself this is for making a keema sevaiya already the recipe is on the channel i had made it with the mutton but here i am using keema that sol is the difference for the keema alone i have sorted and made it and kept but this sevaiya i will be making early in the morning only 
the detailed recipe of this sevaiya i will leave the link in the description box i think i made this recipe at the time of bakreed uh, breakfast uh, menu i made i think i will leave the link in the description box sure go and check the detailed recipe is there so after this now our keema will be very much ready for making the sevaiya last finally at night i prepared this another sweet this is strawberry shortcake cups i have just taken whipping cream and half of the cup of canned uh, strawberry compo i added in that and made the cream now i will be adding little bit of cake that is pound cake is always the best or if you have strawberry flavor cake also you can mix it and layer it this way so it is ready almost very much ready for uh, uh, garnishing on top i will be having some sprinkles that is rainbow sprinkles i will be adding see next day morning today only it is party that is the wednesday morning it is nicely snowing in the morning first thing in the morning i just put all the vadas for sambar vada in the hot water and started making the sevaiya see the keema which we made and kept in the fridge i am just adding more veggies also in that this way it will be very tasty i added lemon juice uh, some mint and uh, coriander leaves that's it now when it comes to boil with the water we will be adding sevaiya and garnish with the, all the toppings i will show you in a little while that's it our sevaiya are very much ready this recipe is very wonderful recipe in detail i will leave it in the description box see these are the chicken donuts i prepared for making the sliders parallelly there were so many works going on i couldn't take the clips of everything and i couldn't share what all i have already taken also otherwise the video is going to become too long that is why the recipes which are already there i will leave the link in the description box see these are the chicken donuts i had prepared and kept this recipe i will give you separately uh after some time but today i am just going to use these donuts only for making the sliders now sambar was also parallelly getting ready after sambar is done i prepared this is pongal all the sambar pongal recipes all are already on the channel i will leave the link in the description box go and see for detailed recipe this pongal recipe i shared during the festival of pongal it's a very awesome recipe definitely go and check Eight thirty. School. All kids have gone. Even while it is snowing, I just packed the sliders itself in the tiffin box and sent them. And now I am preparing the small welcome table over here. In the uh, in that I have added some danish and also some peanut butter pretzel. Very yummy. Sure, try it from Costco. And some candies. Definitely add these kind of candles when you are cooking whole lot of desi food. to make your house smell really good candles and bakhur are the great way of adding nice fragrance to your house definitely try now instantly i am preparing coconut chutney very easy i have taken frozen coconut i just microwaved it for 1 minute and do that's how you can use frozen coconut always green chilies little bit of uh, roasted chana dal ginger garlic curry leaf and coriander salt to taste and little bit of water nicely give it a good blend nice it should be very thin paste like you make it uh, that's all you have to adjust the cons consistency according to how you want either you want thick chutney or thin followed by that i am preparing the tomato or the bell pepper chutney you would have seen uh, i kept it in the fridge i just microwaved for 1 minute and the tomato chutney is also blended and kept ready now a hearty tempering it's very must for both the chutneys i have uh, for tempering in oil mustard seeds urad dal and curry leaf only three ingredients that's it 
and see all serving dishes are very much ready very soon before 10 o'clock everything was ready this was simaya that is kima simaya i prepared right for that only onions and cashews and here for this uh, strawberry shortcake cups i have just sprinkled some rainbow sprinkles now sambar vada is also ready milk is getting ready for our badam milk that is mtr badam milk only i prepared as a welcome drink as it is snowing i kept hot milk for welcoming finally these dosas all were made by my friends only few of the friends made some dishes also i uh, requested one of my friend to make like mutton and all she made and brought mutton idli and all see dosas this is the perfect batter if you have these kind of holes on dosa right it is very perfect batter and i am using ghee and oil mixed together definitely if you are making dosa mix ghee and oil together then only it is the best taste now you can see our dosa is very much ready we are going to make masala dosa for that i am adding aloo masala this also if i add recipe the video is becoming too long so i didn't add just boiled potatoes are nicely given a uh, good seasoning that is south indian seasoning with the urad dal mustard seeds curry leaf little bit of chili onions and turmeric that's all these are the ingredients in which i have added the mashed potatoes salt to taste and whole lot of coriander see all our masala dosas were very much ready like this even in between we were just going on serving these dosas dosas were super hit in the party all the dishes were very much ready by 10 o'clock only dosa and few parathas we made for mutton curry na mutton curry and idlis my friend made and uh, brought it i told i requested her to make because i had no time making so many things together thanks to her here i chose south indian menu for the breakfast most of the recipes and few were like pasta and sliders as well why because most of the friends were pakistanis and middle eastern friend also for making a balance in everybody's palate only i chose menu this kind and it will be really very different for them to try something new as well perfect recipe for idli dosa batter and many other dishes which i have not given here i will share them all separately in detail in later on hope you all like this video and found it interesting as well if you like my videos do like share and subscribe to my channel live tasty be happy soon i'll be back with another awesome recipe or a vlog until then stay safe take care and goodbye